Good morning, everybody. Mike Nemec here with some early morning grain and oil seed comments on this Wednesday, June 5th. A little bit of a defensive trade in the overnight session. We've got the uh, wheat market down around 10 cents in the winters, down around five in the spring. Corn and beans are down five. They're a little bit weaker than that. Meal down two and a half, but soybean oil market a little bit unchanged. I think yesterday's trade, we went and challenged the most recent highs for the move. Some of the markets saw reversals, such as the wheat after making a new high for the move. Meal had a double top. I think the crop condition numbers that came on out for the corn and beans, first half of the day's trade, really didn't see enthusiasm. So I think that kind of got people a little bit uh, defensive, depressed, and saw the markets back off on it. Actually, the crop condition numbers and plantings were improved for the uh, wheat, and so that kind of had some merit in it as well. And I guess you can also talk about that there's been some easing of the successiveness as far as rainfall goes, so a little bit of a pause in it, maybe a little bit of light hedging. And getting back to the technicals, we also saw where stochastics, RSI, things like that, kind of getting overblown. So we had a little bit of weakness in the overnight session. A week from to uh, yesterday, that is, on Tuesday, we're going to get another USDA report supply and demand. Inform is going to come on out here later today with their production numbers. But if you really think about it, it was the May 10th USDA report almost a month ago when this whole thing started. And that was basically a non-bullish report as a result of the carryout numbers that we saw for wheat, corn, and beans. And all we did was get go higher since then. So I guess there might be a little bit of leeriness on this USDA report. How much variance is there going to be from that past report? Considering we still don't have much planted, we still have all these uh, disaster bill um, payments that could be coming on out, prevented planted acreage. So the USDA is probably still in a bind as far as really know what the details are. So I guess maybe there can also be a little bit of a question how much variance from this non-bullish report that we saw back in May on this upcoming report. So once again, we are a little bit on the defensive. Other things in the news is that they're talking about some U.S. firms importing corn from South America and uncertainty about the supplies are going to be. We have Pence talking, Vice President Pence talking today to the Mexicans about the uh, tariff and the immigration problems that uh, have started on up. China is going to maybe throw some uh, inspection, enhanced inspections on Canadian uh, pork and meats. So that can have a further uh, derailing of the t uh, trade wars between the two of them. And then we also have, uh, uh, like I said, the upcoming USDA report to worry about as well. China is also putting together tariffs between their exporters and their importers with the U.S. So you can just see this whole bind as far as the uh, trade talks politics continues to be somewhat uh, of an uncertainty. I guess all we really want to do is try and get back to pivotal price areas. The soybean oil market doesn't really move from it, but we have a little bit of more wiggle room to get down into it for the uh, corn, beans, and in the wheat, and probably kind of sit there, hopefully, and await the USDA report next week and kind of go from there. The trade is a still small net long, small net shorts in wheat and beans. They came out of that since their last May report. And so once again, we're also going to see what they want to do with the money flow. As in my opinion, it's not that of ADM or ADMIS. I thank you.